shortcut here on the desktop and you look at the properties it has the slash decompile after the uh, name of the of the access program what I do is I set up the shortcut and I set up the call to access this is for office uh, 2007 so if it's 2010 you'd see office 14 right here um, if um, so I've got the database name in my case this doesn't even exist so this is just going to allow me to open up access and then go to the program that I really want to go to so let's do that um, Okay, I want to first open up the program and show you what before we compile it. So I hold my shift key down and open so that no form opens. Let's go to the Visual Basic and debug and see this compile here. This is not grayed out, so it means that the program is not fully compiled. So every time also um well that's really that's really it for the decompile. Um if you're working on some project where you're using the same file all the time, it it really makes sense to set up a shortcut and to actually put the name of your program right, right in here. Um you can also take this and just swipe it copy it. So down here you click on run and then just paste it. Right in here. Same thing. Okay? Yeah. So do it. Now you know how to do a decompile.